everyone, this is John Paul Sansone here at POS Portal, your account manager. And I wanted to create a quick video just to show you some of the new developments on our end uh, related to our app portal. So this is P2's way of adding additional industry-specific functionality to our platform. So I'm going to go through each of the eight uh, different partners today that we have listed out here uh, at a really high level very quickly just to kind of convey some of the, the different pieces that are involved and what those tools specifically are providing. So we're going to start out and get right into it here uh, with Control Scan. So Control Scan is our latest partner. Uh, we officially announced a relationship and a partnership with them uh, likely about three weeks ago, so early May of 2013. And this is a way if you're currently, um, maybe you have a PCI compliance or PCI kind of revenue service provider you're working with today, uh, that's great. If you don't, maybe you're kind of leaning more on your processor, this is a way where you can kind of partner with Control Scan uh, and we can actually provide a way to sort of manage that portfolio uh, and all of that activity within P2. So it also allows you to board your merchants. So if you have a new merchant that needs to be boarded uh, in Control Scan system, we can also do that directly from within P2. Uh, it also can sync with the MIDs of the MIDs so that there's data kind of going back and forth between both applications. So you don't have to go to each one of them to update things. Um, you know, whatever fee that you guys are collecting from a PCI standpoint, it allows you to generate revenue where uh, we can leverage that with our ACH uh, direct or ACH processing integration, which I'll talk about in a second, to sort of receive that from your merchants. Uh, and really what's nice about it is that the actual invoice piece doesn't show up uh, on your current invoice that you make available to uh, your, your merchants. So if, let's say, an ISO competitor or an agent competitor was coming in and asking the merchant for their statements, uh, this wouldn't be something that they would be able to sort of compete with you on or, or you know, push you out of there on. Um, Ship Direct, this is our deployment tool. So it's all done directly inside of P2. So our motto here is really, you know, we want to get you out of the hardware business, allow you guys to focus on selling more. And this is just one way to have POS Portal handle all of that um, for you. So we can drop ship different terminals and, and hardware accessories, et cetera, to your merchants, um, you know, provide some other value-added services. So also available inside of P2, a new development. Merchant Discovery, uh, this is a thing that we've created with uh, InfoUSA, InfoGroup, to really provide a way to our ISO partners to discover new merchants. So this can be done either, uh, you know, via a mobile device, if let's say they're in front of a plaza or... Um, you know, a dry cleaners or a deli and they want to figure out the owner's name and kind of have more insight before they go and call upon them. Uh, or it can be done remotely and you could have, you know, a team internally uh, discovering these new leads and distributing out to your sales team. So it's just sort of an alternative to uh, the traditional, you know, going out to the market and buying a list of 3,000 names. Because um, one, we're actually creating that lead record automatically inside of P2, so it's there and available. But at the same time, we're providing very key, valuable information like the owner's name and employee count revenue, et cetera. So that's definitely a, a very valuable tool going forward for a lot of our partners. ACH Direct is uh, a way to debit or credit your merchants. So uh, it can also be extended out to your sales folks, really even your partners. And again, it's all done within P2. So uh, we're going to tokenize and, and very securely uh, tokenize the, the specific payment information. So that's not going to be made available to your team that's logging in. Uh, so again, it's a very secure way of, of sort of ACHing those different folks. Tin check is uh, really done, uh, just like it sounds for you know the tax ID verification, but you know the tin matching, the OFAC checks, looking at like a death master file, address verification, a lot more other features. I'm kind of failing to mention here, um, and we have a couple different ways that our clients approach that. One is in the sales process on the front end, so that their back office doesn't get inundated with maybe people that wouldn't have qualified or, or meet that criteria. Uh, and as well as obviously the underwriting process. DocuSign is an e-signature tool for all of our clients' apps and documents, so it doesn't have to be apps or the MPA always specifically. Again, this is all done inside of P2. Uh, it allows you guys overall to, more, to board excuse me, merchants quicker, and we can also provide a sign now ability, so you can actually leverage some sort of tablet device, have the merchant sign directly on that. That ties to the first data MPA, so we've actually built out a way for a lot of our ISO and agent partners to move away from their paper apps. Uh, it's a very standardized and productized approach today, but you receive all the automatic updates that maybe First Data provides You know, going forward. Uh, you can have hard-coded fields for pricing. It can be branded. You could have uh, required fields and default values. And then finally, and, and lastly here, Amazon Web Services really allows you to kind of have that completely paperless office. So it gives you some additional storage. Very, very inexpensive. So you can really host all your content inside of P2. If you're interested in learning more about any of these different partnerships or how the specifics of it would work, please feel free to re reach out to me. Thank you.